Can it sandwich where I take the chips that I reviewed during the week, put them between two slices of butter bread to see if they can sandwich. You might recall this week we did Fiorentini pizza flavored chips. They're not actually potato chips in the truest sense of the form. They're formed from potato starch, but they definitely tasted good and I think they're going to sandwich pretty well. Old Dutch salt and vinegar flavored potato chips. A uh, nice punch of vinegar up front, nice balance of salt on the back end. I think these are definitely going to sandwich pretty well. And last but not least, from Kuwait, nice hot and spicy flavored potato chips that were neither hot nor spicy, but they were nice. So uh, let's, let's get to sandwiching. Okay, let's go in the order in which I reviewed them, which means Fiorentini pizza flavored chips up first. It's like adding butter to a pizza. Mm -hmm. Up next, Old Dutch salt and vinegar flavored potato chips. That is so good. The bite of the vinegar with the salt and the butter. Mm. And last but not least, nice hot and spicy potato chips that were neither, <laughs> but still tasty. Let's see. Still a delicious sandwich. Getting all that herbaceousness, all that flavor with the butter. It works really well. Still not getting hot and spicy, but there you have it. Fiorentini pizza flavored chips that are from uh, dehydrated potato starch. Excellent on their own. Tastes like pizza, definitely can sandwich. Old Dutch salt and vinegar flavored potato chips, no brainer, absolutely can sandwich. And nice, hot and spicy, still not hot, still not spicy, but still nice and definitely nice in a sandwich, absolutely can sandwich. All right, a good result. All right, see you next week. <laughs>